Alrighty, my friends. Platforming is not your thing. Me neither. Um, before I even go into here, uh, I'm actually going to quickly go out of here. I want to spend my souls on something so I have very few, so few souls that I'm worried about losing. Let's see if I can upgrade my... Uh, My summon guy or my weapons? Because I could probably start upgrading the whip even though I'm not using it yet. Okay, I have to get outside of here to teleport. There we go. Alright. So let me see if I can upgrade my summon guy or my weapon just to spend some souls here. And this hero's grave is really annoying because there is definitely a place where you have to like jump down and do all sorts of stupid annoying stuff. Okay. Um. Ah, I've decided to, as I mentioned, we may not get right. any income. Now's the moment. Anything I want to get from him before I leave? Surge of flame, increased fire damage negation. Here's poison. I already have that. Heal allies. Shockwave pushes away foes. Black Raging Fire. Black Flame. Okay. Magic Damage Negation might be pretty useful to have. Black Flame is not bad. Is that this one? Faith 20. I would need to put a little bit more into Faith. I don't know if I want to spend... If I want to get that. I feel like maybe having magic defense might be useful, though. Hopefully I can still find this guy later, since I've already given him some stuff. Alright, let's see here. Uh, okay, so I don't have the glove wart for that. Alright, let's see about upgrading our whip here. Ash of War Duplication. Uh, small and medium swords. Usable on swords. So the only two blood things I have are swords. Okay. Uh, strength and armaments. Oh, I can strengthen the dragon seal. I didn't know I could do that. Yes. Yes. I should have done this before. Should have known you could do this. Okay. So that's definitely worth. These guys take some somber smoothing stones. I kind of want to save those if that's what it's going to take to upgrade this. Ah, this is regular smithing stones. Nice. Smithing stone ones. Let me go buy some smithing stones. Uh, I'll buy them once I'm ready to... Uh, actually, I have runes I want to use. So yes, let's go buy some smithing stones for this. Incant scaling is added to rotten breath damage. Nice. Some other incantation damage. Sweet. This guy in here, he is. Okay, cool. Found where this girl's quest is now, so I might try to do her quest at some point too. All right, so it's smithing stones. I'm gonna buy like ten of those, and I'm probably gonna need these. How many can I get? I can get three. Okay. Alright, 275. That's good. Well, uh... I basically want to just spend up all my souls. All my runes. Um, Hero's Grave. Let's go back here. Dragon Communion Seal uses Somber Smithing Stones. Yeah. I don't want to take increased damage. So we got... What's in here? Skeletons and fire. Do I have fire damage negation? I do. Is that better than just getting max health? Let's just get max health. All right, we're only gonna, like I said, we're only gonna give this a couple attempts. 
I'm not gonna bang my head against a, a really annoying wall. Run down, skeletons are going to appear. <laughs> Somehow I triggered a crit on that guy. Not sure how that happened. Okay. Oh, what, well, you're not dead? Die! Come on, man. I swear the hitbox on these things sometimes is just stupid. I can hit the wall, but I can't hit the guy I'm trying to finish off. Oh, guys, so I think I have to wait for this one to go up. Yeah, turn around. Next is down to the left. Looks like I gotta jump out. Yep. If I just leave him there, he should get killed by the chariot. Good. I need to go right next. Yep. Another guy gonna jump out of here. You can tell I've done this before. Tell I've done this before. I already have all this memorized. Doesn't mean I'm gonna be successful on it though. All right, this next part is jump to the left. Okay, and it's after he comes up that we go. I spent probably a good hour and a half trying to beat this the other night. And we're getting some glove warts. Maybe I can do the upgrade after I get done this with this place. And. Stupid guy hiding right there. Ouch. That was a much harder fight than it should have been. Another one of those guys that's gonna show up over here. Have a range thing. I'm gonna swap out this for my crossbow. These are all become heavy load. Ah, so let me trade something out so I'm not heavy load. Okay. Whoa, that does a triple attack? All right, I found my new ranged weapon. <laughs> That's awesome. Sweet. I never used this thing before. That's freaking badass. Free heals. I just swapped this out real quick. Not this, this. Oh, oh, there's more dudes here I didn't even see. Forgot about those guys. I'm gonna backstab you for some health. One second.
Let me look at this dude in the eye and hit the wall. I know, right? Great Blood Warp 6, and we got a 7 earlier. So yes, I think I'm going to be able to upgrade my... Even, even if I don't complete this place... This has definitely been worthwhile just for the Grave Glove Wart for... Well, actually I'm not sure if it's Ghost or Grave Glove Wart I need. So I might not be able to upgrade the guy I want, but still. It, this is, these are definitely materials worth picking up, that's for sure. Okay, let's swap this back out with something like... Final Hit of Chain Attacks or something. into the fire. Ah, it didn't work. <laughs> Alright. You did it to yourself, sir. You did it to yourself. I sometimes feel bad for these guys who we kill that are just, you know, cowering, but then I'm like, you know what? Thanks for the free heals. Oh crap, I had to reload first. There we go. Nice. Ghost Glove War. Yeah, I think the one I do have needs Ghost Glove War. I think you're right. Is there a guy over to the right? There usually is when there's something like this. Above me? No. Okay. Guy the right there? Yeah, there he is. Oh god, there's another one. Guys, jump back. There we go. Their jump back always wrecks me, man. Nice. Okay, what do we got? Runes, okay. Anything here? Any wall stuff here? No, okay. Hey, what's up, pie boy? I pied? What does that mean? If you mean died, not yet, but the night is young. Probably soon. Alright, here's where the next thing is, I think. Yeah. I'm pretty sure there's a thing up here. how you're supposed to get by this or if maybe you're not even supposed to that getting this is a death sentence or something okay doesn't insta kill okay cool Oof, okay fill up to full and this is where I died a ton of times I didn't give up here but just past this area is where I gave up okay, so this goes down Go to the right after this one. And I'm probably going to be about nine to 10,000 souls when I have to give up on this place. Right. Oh! God. Frickin' camera forcing me to go out in the middle of that. BS. Take this thing, we'll kill them both. Nice. Okay. Next one. Okay, and here it is. You have to jump down there. This is the 
stupid platforming one. I hate this one. This is the one I failed at. If I fail at it once, I probably don't even try again. This. Ugh, yeah. It's so dumb. You like have to jump, but be just off, but not too far that you'd fall. This is, this is stupid. This is one of my least favorite parts of Dark Souls is the forced shitty platforming. And I say shitty because you do have no control. The reason platforming is good in some games is because you have good air control. This game, you have no, no good air control on your character, so. Hey, what's up, Biohazard? How uh, am I today? Uh, salty at video games, like normal. <laughs> Otherwise, I'm good. How are you, sir? Now, I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna spend any more time on on poorly, bad control uh, platforming. Like, your air control in this game is so bad. I don't even want, know why they put platforming in the game. But you know, whatever. Maybe somebody at from software likes. Bad platforming. <laughs> I don't know. Uh, I don't know what what else to call it. When you when the controls are uh, janky for jumping, I don't know why you'd put complex platforming in your game. Uh, you just finished your first blind playthrough of Elden Ring. Nice. Now you can finally watch other people also kick out the second journey. Awesome, my friend. That's cool. You like in getting over it. Uh, is okay. I know. I know what getting over it is. I never played it. I did watch some other streamers play it. Is it janky controls in in that game too? Is that part of the reason why it's so hard? Is because the controls are so bad? You get too salty, the souls like to play them. I'm decent enough at it that it makes you almost forget. <laughs> yeah, it's it's a challenge. It's definitely a challenge. The challenge in the fights still makes me salty, but not as much at, as when it's rough game mechanics or UI that causes the the challenge. And to me, the, the jumping in this game is not well done enough to warrant me spending time trying to uh, do difficult platforming with janky controls, so. That's the idea of getting over it, you think, is is the uh, bad controls. You're doing practice storybook brawl for activating a croc with copycat. It's funny to you. Okay. Uh-oh. Somebody's shooting lightning at me. Ow, ow, ow. Get somebody on top of the. That guy, I think, is throwing stuff down. So I'm gonna back away. Is there anything. Okay, there's a cliff to fall off over here. Pick up this. Getting over is deliberately bad controls. Elden Ring is for sure not designed for platforming. Yeah. What uh, what kind of character did you play in your first blind playthrough, Bio? What uh, what's that base like? Int based caster, Dex build like me. I'm kind of Dex Arcane for bleed plus. No, well, basically for bleed procs. But I have, I'm kind of playing two characters at once, because off stream I'm playing a uh, basically pure int caster build, and my god, playing as a magic user is like, is like cheat mode in this game. Just being able to, well, not for not, not for every encounter, but for so many boss fights and mini bosses, just being able to shoot your enemies till they die is just so broken. Ouch! Let me move. Don't, and also not run off the edge of the world. Same as your first class in all soul burn, souls burns. Magic user, going bleed this run too. Okay, so you did you did int, and now you're going bleed. Cool. The similar builds to what I'm doing. Sounds like that's cool. God damn it, man! 
Force controls and platforming controls. <sighs> Jesus. See somebody climbing up with me. Cool. I swear, sometimes I see ghosts of other players and I'm like, oh my god. I feel like they only added this in to freak you out and think you have another enemy showing up at you. <laughs> or out of nowhere. Oh my god, I'm getting attacked by a ghost. Nope, that's just another player. Online interactions game is pretty cool. It sometimes, oh god, Jesus. The forced PvP, I think, is not cool, and I think is a terrible game mechanic. <laughs> Playing with your friends, forcing you to opt in to PvP, I think, is um, one of the worst game design choices. And I just wish there was any any possible way to not have to participate in that. Polybo, okay. All right, cool. That's all that's up here. Oh, just freaking hell. I keep thinking I know where the thing is. You're very much a, ooh, that looks cool. Let's use that kind of player. I'm the same way, Biohazard. I am the same way. I keep seeing weapons like, oh, I want to do a build around that. <laughs> and that's why currently, even though I'm using daggers, uh, my goal is actually to work towards a bleed whip build, which I have... Half of the weapons I need for it, but not the capability to upgrade those weapons correctly yet. So we're working towards making a bleed whip build. Be kind of our our current goal towards what we're working towards. The white mask of the Great Helm for bleed build. Unless you're trying to be Indiana Jones, then you need the best fedora you can find. But cool, I don't know what the white... What'd you call it? The white mask? It does require to do PvP. Okay. Well, if it's a quest that you get a reward, it's fine, it's fine. Hopefully it's not much PvP required, though. Okay. Get these guys. Oh my god, I can't even pick up stuff because of the controls on the damn horse. Okay. Hello, wolf. Don't mind me, just taking your somber smithing stones. Okay, where's next? Is it this way? That looks like a place where people jump off to their death. Okay, cool. Alright. Uh, oh, yeah, it's this way. White mask gives you plus 10% attack power for 20 seconds when anyone, including self, bleeds. Okay. Cool. Sounds kind of like the bug mask for caster builds, where it makes your spells all cost less. <clears throat> uh, my caster, since I just got to 52 int, I've just swapped over to, I think it's the Glintstone Staff, whatever the one is that increases FP cost, but uh, also increases damage, which is, I think, kind of the highest bang for your buck weapon. All right, we fight something in here. Doesn't look like I could summon anybody. It's one of these guys. Okay. Oh. 
Wow. Okay, that range, though. I have a feeling I'm not going to be able to do anything at all to this guy because I have no range. Uh, maybe I need to get off my horse. There's some damage. Not much, though. Since he likes having two status effects to proc. Uh, Expectation I build uses claws, bleed plus frost. Okay. Man, they keep making you fight in these shitty places where there's, like, no ability to move, man. Ugh. All these rocks and tents that don't go away. Ugh. It's like the game is intentionally hard. Or something. Potentially trolley, I should say. Okay, I'm gonna just kind of like try to do jump attacks here. Maybe then I can get in attacks without taking damage. Yeah, proccing two status effects down sounds pretty awesome. And I was thinking about something like that, but I haven't done the research into what it would take to make that happen. If I can just get range on a bleed build, that's kind of my first thing I'm trying to make happen. Okay, there's a there's a glowy over here I can get while taking a break from this annoying ass fight. Oh, there it is, right over here. Scavenger's curb sword. Okay. You think they expect most people to fight on foot? You think so? Well, F that. If I have a horse with, that gives me extra health, I'm not fighting this guy on foot. I almost feel like if you're allowed to fight on horse, they expect you to fight on the horse, honestly. it's kind of what it seems like to me. Whew. All right, almost there. One more hit. Ugh. Got him. Hiding seems appropriate and necessary. Yeah. If they give me the option to fight on a horse, I usually do it just because... Even though I don't have a great weapon for it, I basically feel like I have two health bars and more maneuver maneuverability on horseback. Like, there are fights where you're supposed to fight a giant in a cave without a horse. There, sure, you're supposed to use a horse there, but if there's giants out in the world, I'm probably going to be on horseback. How do you do bleed plus freeze? Not gonna, is it one weapon with that each has a proc, or can you get two procs on a single weapon? And have still have decent scaling. And like you get a dagger that has bleed inherently and then add a frost proc on it and they both will proc. Jesus, damn. I should have known there was a guy out of nowhere. Can't do my full attack combo because he's against a fucking wall. If the weapon has bleed naturally and it can be taken Ash of War, you can add dish and can add satisfax to it. Okay. Well, maybe I can do that with my wits then. 
because these Redubias, I can't add a Flash of War to it. But maybe like the Uchi Katanas I have can do that. Since they have Bleed Naturally on it, and I think they can take an Ash of War. So free heal. Okay, I already got my thing on there. And off the world you go. Which nice. Katana, I think, takes Ash of War, but you got to decide what you want to lean into stat wise. Frost scales with Int. Ah, okay. Interesting. So it sounds like an arcane Int build, and you don't scale decks hardly at all. It almost sounds like something where you get the bare minimum you need to equip the weapons you want, and then you lean into the stats that scale with the procs or something. Maybe I can do something that with that, like that with Hollow's Whip. I'll have to think about that. Okay, two dudes there. You gave up on scaling decks in your bleed build. Gotcha. Got two arrow guys. Um, okay, let's try something here. And I have to swap this out for this guy to use that. There we go. That's my best AoE right there. <laughs> All of my mana. But we killed those two guys waiting to... Uh, bum rush us there. I hear something running around. That guy. Oh, I killed a guy. Same thing then. <laughs> Again, all my mana. But hey, at least it's uh, at least I got an AOE there. I think they actually refill your flasks anyway. You'd imagine bleed being the thing to build into since you can't really cause frost to trigger as often. Well, if it's a wep like, like it seems like if I wanted to have this whip, which inherently has bleed on it, if I put an ash of war for an int. For, for frost buildup, then I would assume that would make that scale with int and not arcane, right? Like, I guess the question is, are there any weapons with inherent frost or bleed that you can make scale with both things? I don't know if that's a thing. What's up, Darguana? A lot of the scaling really takes off around 30 plus. Yeah, we're getting close to that. We're like 26, I think, on our three main stats that we're going for. All right. Oh, welcome, dear Castor. What's up, bro? What you got? Well, are you please? I'm hungry. So hungry, I know. Uh, let me actually sell some weapons that I have duplicates of or armor. Do I have any duplicate armor or weapons? Any duplicates? Yeah, all these guys. I have two alchemy uh, academy glintstone staffs, staves, two great knives, two reduvios, but I'm using those. Two gigatanas that I want to keep. Okay, everything else looks good. And what you got? Cookbook, always gotta buy those. Guilty hood, professor hood. I actually bought this and wore this on my other guy. I like, I just like the look of this Confessor armor, so I kind of just want to buy it just for the looks. I think I bought this entire set on my other guy. One stat at 35 is better than two stats at 25 in some cases. Makes sense. Um, and I might, I haven't respect yet, 
So if I do a respec, I might respec and do a lot less in dex and go all in on the arcane. Again, I kind of want to have whatever my final weapon build's going to be before I do something like that. That's kind of my thought processes. Thought processes. Is, is, is. But like, if I get my double bleed whips going, then that's what I'm thinking about possibly respec. And then I might even put a little more in faith so I can use some other incantations and stuff. Just get the bare minimum I need on my, like, dex and faith and int and stuff. And then, uh... Get the get the arcane scaling higher. There was a glowy down there. Where are we headed? Uh these guys like have madness eyes going on here. Aggro those guys. Okay, well, if I can do this, then let's do this. These guys are so annoying. I fought a bunch of these in the capital city area. My other dude, these guys really suck. But I never fought them on a horse. And apparently it doesn't do me much good. Again, I've done so much of the fighting against these different guys on my mage. Ouch. Yeah, damn it. I don't know how to fight these guys with my melee, dude. You can drop that whip for me, assuming I accept it. Um, I'm gonna. I already farmed one on my other character. I'm gonna farm it on this guy. That's my goal today: is get dual, dual of those whips, so I'm gonna kind of do it myself. The hell am I? Wow, put me all the way over here? Jesus, I thought there was a spawn closer by, okay. I appreciate the uh, offer though. I might take you up on it if I can't, if you're still here later and I uh, don't get it done myself, but I plan on just getting it myself. Yeah, I'd still need something to transfer it. If uh, Actually, I already transferred it. Uh, Shogi already did that for me earlier. I already have done that. If this guy doesn't respawn at least, okay, that's good. So I already have the one. I'm only allowed if you can say, that's a cool whip. <laughs> okay. So I honestly only need to get the other one, and I'll be able to dual wield the weapons I want to dual wield. Although I still can't upgrade them exactly the way I want to yet, though. Okay, where did that guy show up from? That is it from over here? That guy shows up from behind. Ah, he's up there. I see ya. It's probably about to drop on my head. Yeah, there it is. Okay, I'd like to get my souls back before I die. I think this is the one I went up earlier, but I think there is a shiny to get up here. Right over here. Okay. Get out, get out. These freaking marionette guys that go crazy.
Okay. Hope this gets me to my souls up there. It might just be a different way to get up there. Maybe, actually. I'm not sure. You coming at me? Apparently you just see me even though I'm sneaking. There we go. He breaks. Goes crazy. And it kills you. And it kills you. Oh my god, there's two of them. Almost killing me. Cool whip. Why are you saying it like, like like that? Like what? Why are you overpronouncing the H? What do you mean? I always say it like that. Cool whip. Cool whip. Now where is my my souls are up there? Okay, I'm just gonna run past all these guys. Screw fighting these are really annoying dudes. Okay, I tried to pick that up. Did not pick it up. There it is. All right. All right. Where is where is the shiny? I couldn't pick up. That. There it is. Okay. Bridge. Okay, I think that's where I'm supposed to go. Let me. Ah, I think there's a. Uh, I think there's a side of grace up here and a cave, which I might put off doing this cave right now because I really do want to get towards the quest that I'm trying to. A cabinet. Uh, what's the place called? Yeah, I'm trying, really trying to get to Volcano Manor. Volcano Cave. Yeah, we'll do this one later. Yeah, we'll do this. Actually, this is a really short one. I keep saying I'm going to do it later, and I'm like, no, actually, I'm going to do it. If I remember this one correctly, this was actually a pretty quick one, so I'm going to do this one. And let me swap out this for later backstabber, which probably not going to get to backstab more. See, it feels like the later in the game you get, the less you actually ever get the chance to backstab anything, because there's always 20 enemies all looking at each other's backs. Like, yeah, I can't even move into the room before they all just see me. Firing an arrow at a wall makes enemies look that way. Does it? Okay, maybe I'll give that a try. Maybe I'll try to distract them. With my crossbow, do I have that equipped? I don't. I'll have to swap it in. Am I at a heavy load with that? No. Okay, good. Which enemy do I hate the most and why is it the rune bears? <laughs> because they're the worst. Easy question. With an easy answer. They are definitely the worst. Room bears suck. Are they what I hate the worst, though? I don't know that I fought them enough to call them the worst yet. Alright, let's see if this will work. If I go like this... And go... How do I aim this? I have to have it in my right hand to aim it, don't I? Well, let me see here. Probably gonna aggro something, but can I backstab you? Nope, no backstabbing allowed. Uh, run 
way because there's like 8,000 dudes here now. are mercifully rare. I think Shatter Shard errors are specifically for that purpose. You could do that or just kill them in a few seconds and gain loot. What? Bats, on the other hand, come up. You can hold L1 to aim, even if it's in your offhand. Bats? I feel like I'm reading two different conversations at the same time right now, honestly. <laughs> that was a message that got botched. Okay. All right, there's the boss fight. Let me finish uh, looting in here first before I go do the boss fight. Because there's not much to this place. I think there's like one other hallway or something. You can hold L1, but to aim your uh, aim your crossbow or something? Let me test that. Okay, well, it still doesn't give me, like, the aiming ability. I, I mean, it kind of does, but, like, I can't see where I'm aiming it. But I guess that's something. Holding it is something, so thanks for that. All right. There we go. That's all that's here, I think. Unless there's a hidden wall I missed before, which is certainly possible. Stuff I, up I want. Um, I think it's a giant of some sort that we fight in here, if I remember correctly. Let me swap out this, this, and this. When you hold L1 with a bow in offhand, you get a targeting ridicule. Yeah, crossbows are different than bows. I've, I've used both and crossbows and... Crossbows, I don't know if you can ever aim with. Maybe if you have them in the right hand, I don't know. I've never... I haven't used crossbows a super large amount. I've used bows more, and I do know how to aim with those. Ah, it's another one of these girls. Oh, wow, I can't believe that actually didn't hit me as I was just side-stepping there. Gotta swap my weapons. Yeah, the breath is gonna basically solo her. Ow. Oh, I'm getting... <laughs> I was getting cocky there, okay. Whew. Jar Cannon. Now, this is something I was wanting to look at, actually, because it's... It's a Ballista. Weight 15. Okay, I'm probably not going to use that. <laughs> That's really, really heavy. That should be enough for a level, though, I think. Pissed her off? Yeah, I breathed my really bad breath on her. I'd be pissed if somebody did that to me, too. Hi, ah, Rand. Oh my god. Honestly, I'd probably be the one with the bad breath. Bad breathing people. With all the not good food I eat. Okay, I need 1500 runes for this. Let's get that level up. 1500. I do like one of these. Will this be enough? Yeah, that was an extra. Cool. Okay, so. Maybe I start skimping on dexterity now. No, I'm gonna keep with my current, well, my previous plan. Dex and arcane. Dex, arcane, vigor. Once we do our respect, that's when I'll make any changes if I wanna change the way I'm doing it. Yeah. 
Yes! I'm so happy when it actually has to backstab somebody. Backstabbing makes me happy. Does that make me a horrible person? Probably. Okay, so now we run past all of these guard dudes. Go across the bridge. And I think we're getting close to Volcano Manor, maybe? Oh, is there another Grace right across here? Okay. Uh, the choice of ladder or horse. Why would you ever choose ladder over the quicker horse, I wonder? Uh, okay. Nothing I want there. Oh, there's a boss up here. <laughs> okay. Yeah, fun. <laughs> uh, didn't even have a chance to summon before I just dead. Maybe that's why you wouldn't want to bring a horse. Maybe the horse makes him see you sooner or something. I don't know. All right, let's get our mace out again. Wow, freaking boss after boss after boss right now. This. Get ready to summon that guy. Okay. Huh. That time he didn't aggro me even. Okay. He just one shots my horse no matter what I do, apparently. Alright, the rocket on him? I think it did. Woo! Yeah, I think the rot's on him. Is that made of stone? Probably really resistant to bleed and stuff then. Oh, some lag. Oh. I can't, I just can't even use this ability against certain bosses, it seems like. Okay, that just didn't even hit him for some reason. Because reasons. It's because like a weird manticore thing. No. Oh. Is this guy's hitbox really that tiny? It's really the actual. Okay. I don't know what's going on with this hitbox. It seems like I have to be like literally on top of him to do any damage. His legs and bodies take very little damage. Well, then what do you hit? That's, I can only target his body. There's no other hitbox that I can target. Does it have to be his face? Does that like walk up to his face? His butt and his head. Oh, the white areas. Gotcha. Okay, okay, okay. And thankfully, they made it so that they're impossible to target. Now oh, I'm screwed. 
<laughs> yeah, literally stunned till death. Cool. I love the stun locking when you get knocked off your horse. It's, it's very fun. Very difficult? Well, only if you're uh, not a caster, which I am not a caster. He resists everything. Cool. Cool boss design. Love it. All right. Uh, we'll get him. We'll get him. Yes. Okay. The rot did do damage, though, so... Now that I know that he's resisty there, that should be helpful information. You took one look at this guy and decided to skip him and come back later. <laughs> well, I mean, we got him down to, what, a quarter of his health? Oh my god, he's like literally trying to cut me off from getting my gear, my stuff back. Okay. Okay, again, so easy on my caster. Oh my god, I keep pressing the wrong button. Buttons are so unintuitive. Okay, the rot is on him. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna wait until the rot wears off before I do it again, maybe. That's what I'm gonna think. That's what I think I'm gonna do. Wow, he's doing so much damage to my dude, too. Seriously. Frickin' seriously. Maybe I should be off my horse for this one, honestly. Whoa! Okay. The rot's still on him. Rod is still on him. Okay. It's just AOE shenanigans. Oh god, it's still going. How much AOE do you have? All of the AOE. What is this? Am I dead? Oh, I have like one health. Yeah. You felt that this harder whilst it's harder on horseback? Yeah, I think I might try it off of horseback. Um. I just don't know what weapon to use because this guy is ridiculous. And I can't, like, I need range. I'm going to try, I might try double whips here, actually. Um, I've gotten hardly any upgrades on this whip, but this guy's a plus five. Let's try our whips for the first time. Just because I need range on this guy. I can't hit him with daggers, I swear. Okay, so something like this. Uh, maybe what I will do is get my... If, he ever, if I ever proc something to crit him, I'll do that. I can use left bumper. This, right. Okay. Get up here on horseback, though. What I'll probably do is go grab my souls on horseback. Some of the guy I grab my souls on horseback and then maybe get off the horse. Go on the other side. Excuse me, excuse me, excuse me. Actually, I think I do want to apply the rot from horseback because I just I have more maneuver maneuverability. Oh, actually, get mana back. That's why. Speaking of maneuverability, that did nothing. Good. 
What's in my dude? So I use this. All of my mana on this. Okay, so there's all of my... Ouch. All of my health, almost. Let's do that. Let's swap to this. And let's go. Let's go. Whoa! Surprised that didn't hit me, actually. Okay, I did some damage to his face. A little bit of damage. Hey, look at that. Ouch, also look at that. That looks like the rot has worn off. I can't get the timing on that. Freaking manticore or something. Nice. Get out, get out. Woo. What is he doing? That's a big uh, ball of pain. Okay. Freaking black hole. Nice. Ow. That's not nice, though. Oh, he almost knocked me off the edge of the world. Falling Star Beast is what he's called. Ouch. I have two health things left. Hmm. Oh, this guy is insane without ranged. I don't even have the height to hit him. Jesus, man. This guy is crazy. This guy's an alien. Fell to the lands between from the stars. Okay. I just can't get any hits on him. There's like no downtime on this guy. I'll probably... Uh, do I give one more try on him? I think I'll give him one more try. Because I felt like that was a pretty good attempt. Uh... Hopefully my uh, my follower can stay alive longer. Pretty trolley boss. I mean, that's every boss in this game, right? It's every boss in this game. It really is. Right, where are my souls? Oh, God. Unfucking believable, man. Fuck you, game. Fuck you. Literally couldn't summon my guy before he two shots me. All right, well, F me and my souls. That's bullshit. That's just stupid right there is what that is. Now, now at least I don't have runes to worry about. First world problem, I guess. It's only 1700 or something, I guess. But still, it's really stupid. It's so hard to just just use abilities against some of these shit bosses that just constantly 
do never-ending attacks because they have no resource to spend. There's no stamina, there's no mana, there's no cooldown. Alright, let's get off our horse. Oh. There's a giant AoE. Okay. Ow. Like, I can't even target the weak points on him. What the fuck is this shit where you can't even target the white place to do damage to him? Really? That was in his fucking AoE? Yeah, this boss is dumb. This is a stupid fucking boss. this guy is there do i need to go up here for the next area where do i actually need to go i'm not gonna fight this guy this guy's broken and stupid i need a uh, much more damage scaling going on before i fight this guy and more health now right, where am i supposed to go just run past him switch to ranged i don't have good range damage tell me what range ability i can use that you think would actually be any good <laughs> You have to actually have ranged abilities. I have a crossbow that sucks. I don't I don't have any ranged. I don't I'm not playing a mage character that's brokenly easy. I swapped to whips because that was my range. good as my daggers right now. Alright, these weapons will be good when I can upgrade them, but I have not upgraded them yet because I still don't have the full build I want on them, so let me swap out of the whips for now. Uh, first trip to Volcano Manor on this character, yes. I've done basically everything I'm doing on stream. I've scouted out on my mage character because it, everything is so much easier on mage. So that's what I use my mage character as. Is my I'm scouting out for my stream character. So I'm not. So I kind of know what I'm getting into and can plan for it on a much harder version of playing the game, which is melee. You've never played the game. Okay, well, <laughs> if you you never play the game, uh, and you probably don't understand the mechanics of how how much damage a melee character can do at ranged, I basically used all of my mana on my best ranged attack, and I didn't have any mana left, so I, I really couldn't do any more ranged damage. Oh, oh, we got a seed. I think this will finally be enough. Give me an extra... An extra thing. Uh, there's... 
should be a thing around here somewhere. Where's this guy going? Got this guy zigzagging all the way all over the place here. Just things are annoying. Okay. All right. Well, I know it's going to come right here. I'm just going to wait for the damn thing here. Just wait for it. This is an Ash of War, I think that I I think it's one that I want. A sword with internal attacks. I assume you mean a sword with like a like the special ability that does ranged. The problem with that suggestion, again, Dark Sand, is just basically all weapon attacks that are all melee weapons that have a ranged attack as their special use mana. And I like I said, I used up all my mana. Or FP is what it's called. So Got him. Through and through. Okay, I think that's a bow ability. There's a bunch of hands down there. I think there is an... Uh... Let me make sure I'm not missing a thing over here. A uh, grace. Is there a grace over here? There's a big fight. I'm pretty sure the grace is down here. So I need to get a grace before I do the fight. So I don't have to run by that big giant... Crazy doing over and over. I feel, man, I, I hate skipping a boss, but that guy, he's got to be one of the worst bosses um, for his level. His, his health and defense for the level he's at seems not right. Or my damage might be too low since I'm still holding off trying to get my whips. Maybe once I get my whips fully upgraded, I can actually take him. that it stuns you for like 10 fucking seconds when it knocks you off your horse. Why is there a fucking 10 second stun lock? Why? Why is that a fucking game mechanic? Why is a 10 second stun a fucking game mechanic, man? Literally can't play the game. Literally unfucking playable when that happens. Stunlock sucks, and it happens like ev so many of these things just have a stunlock. Oh, that fucking kills me. <laughs> you shit. You shit game. Oh, god damn it, man. This piece of shit game right now. I would my my fall was slowed by being on the side of the wall, but that didn't count as reducing my fall height. Wow. Wow. What what BS we're experiencing right now. Thanks for the gift itself, my boy. You join and ran dies. Yeah, it's it's been it's been the theme lately. I can't I can't do anything. Apparently where I am is Insta kill with every fucking enemy in the game. There are no enemies that do one damage. They all do nine 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 damage. So it's fun, fun game mechanics, fun and interesting game mechanics we're experiencing right now. It's run by all this shit. I can't. I literally can't fight anything apparently right now. Like everything I'm fighting one shots me. This is insane. 
Maybe I'm gonna have to respec earlier than I wanted to because of just how stupidly overpowered every enemy I'm fighting is where I am. Here's the map. And here's the grace I was looking for. Go after yourself, dude. Go after yourself. Alright, this should allow me to... I think I finally have enough for this. Okay, there we go. Uh, and let me put one more on mana. I don't have any sacred tears. Okay. Okay. All right, let's now go into the manor. Uh, I gotta fight my way through here. I don't wanna fight these big hands though, cause they can just stun mock me to death. So F those guys. I do need to fight the guys leading up to this little mini boss guarding the door though. summon anything for this. What is this? I think there's another caster. Oh, no, it's a giant. Okay. And I cannot summon help. And he's got these little dudes helping him. I don't know what it is about this part of the game. They just like to add little extra ranged enemies to boss fights. Really, just that little decorative fire is apparently uh, damage. Okay, great. Jesus Christ, that's a madness debuff too. It's not decorative fire, it's real fire, I have just learned. Okay, those guys down. Alright, now I can do the fucking boss fight? Thanks, game. Now I can do the actual boss fight. See if I can use my rot. I'm stun locked because I use my animation lock ability. Did the rot even go? I don't even know if the rot happened. Okay, yeah, it looks like it is on him. There we go. There's my ranged attack. All of my FP has been used. Although, actually, I have extra blasts, so I could do more of that. Alright, he should die from the dot now. Okay, good. Okay, oh, alright. And I think we have finally made it to Volcano Manor. <laughs> Halfway through the stream, finally got to what our, the starting place of our goal for today is. Honestly, I think most of the fights we've had have been some of the harder fights we're going to have today, if I remember the quest that I did previously. Okay. All right.
When I first got here, I thought it was like going to be a dungeon. But this place is more like a quest hub than anything else. It's pretty crazy. Combat is really engaging, even very hard trolley. Yes, yes, that's very true. I would say that's a pretty good description of it. Yes, I know. I know there's a secret door into the dungeon. I did find that off stream. But I didn't really do the dungeon part, since that the dungeon part is not part of the quest we're trying to do. Are you precocious? I am. You rarely receive visitors to the Volcano Manor without invitation. Fascinating. And not on Zerui. Tarnished. Harbor doubts. Dogmatic ramblings of fingers. Join the volcano manor. Rise with us against the earth. I assume I have to join to actually get the quest, so I will I will join. Now you belong to the volcano manor family. The drawing room lies down the hall. I will. I will make myself comfortable. Thank you. Alright, Tana. An honor. That guy's armor, by the way, is really freaking cool. The drawing room is use the key I handed. Uh, before I do that, though, there is a fight up here that I'm gonna take. Did you know there's a secret door to a secret door full of cookies? That I didn't know. I did not know about the secret door to cookies. I definitely need to go there. Break all these tables. I was about to get invaded. This guy's weapon is the weapon I saw a bike man using when I saw him playing. Oh my gosh. I was going to one-shot him. Haha, <laughs> that's where that chair just blocked that hit. Frickin' chairs, man. Frickin' chairs. That's why Shogi hates him, right? Got him. All right. That was actually way easier than my mage fight. On the mage fight, that guy dodges everything. Giza's wheel. They always had the best stuff so well. The cookies behind the secret door behind the secret door. Yeah, man. Gotta hate that. Almost flawless. Almost. That guy one-shot you a lot? Yeah. He did all my mage, too. I think I'm slightly tankier on this guy. I'm not, like, super tanky on this guy, but I think I'm slightly tankier than my other, uh, the other guy. Get yoinked, invader. That's right. Yoink. Yoink. And then there's snails in here. I don't know why snails are in this place, but... Let's kill some snails. I'm gonna assume I can't backstab snails. No. Uh, is that where I came from? Which way did I come from? God, I can't even tell. Must have been the other way. Oh, yeah. Snail. Snail on the ceiling. I see a snail. Oh! Oh! So many ceiling, ceiling snails. Well, with that camera view, I thought they were... I can't even tell what they are. <laughs> Get off the ceiling, snail. 
Not allowed to be there. Oh. You haven't been here for a minute, but are these cookies being shared among friends? Always. Oh, come on. You can't attack because your dagger hits the wall. So your attack doesn't allow it to hit because the dagger hits the wall. Come on, game. Don't be doing shit like that. So dumb that I attack here. Hits the wall. My attacks bounce off while theirs just hit like normal. Such a stupid mechanic, man. We're gonna put little tiny halls to force you to fight, but if you barely touch the wall, your your weapon bounces off the wall and does does nothing. So enjoy. Have fun with that fun mechanic. Fun and interesting game mechanic. Ugh. Ugh. I'm getting ragey today, that's for sure. Depraved Perfumer Car Man. I don't know what a car man is, but I guess those are ashes. Alright, I think there's some invisible walls around here. That... is that... that one is not one. Yeah, it's a balanced game mechanic. Enemies don't bounce off the walls, but you sure do. You sure do. And yeah, then we go down here. You wouldn't mind if enemies also had that happen? Yeah, it wouldn't be as much of a troll, that's for sure. Okay, one of these guys. I can't summon help here. Nope. Okay. All right, get full mana here. I'm not going to use Rotten Breath here, I don't think. You're going to immediately see me, right? There's no, like, bonus hit I can get in. Uh. Ouch. God, that's half my health. single hit. I swear, I put points in Vigor and it feels like I have no health. It takes two fucking things to fill my health. game so insane nice work it didn't feel nice it felt like I barely survived I have one health potion left Jesus all right and this is where I didn't go past I think I opened this door on my other game and saw some weird giant animal thing that I didn't want to fight this looks like the actual dungeon, but I walked over here, I looked at that guy, and watch what this crazy guy does. Yeah. I'm like, okay, I don't want to fight that. <laughs> we'll explore this later. Explore this later. For now, we're going to actually do the whip stuff we're trying to do here. Where did I get the health potions? Uh, well, you start with health potions, but you just have to find things that upgrade your health potions. You f and uh, they refill every time you go back to the save point. Okay. Okay, all right. Let's find our quest people here. Hello again. Brave tarnished. Hello. You remember me? I he spoke in Lurie. Oh, are you the one? Oh, she's the one who 
gave me a quest that I actually didn't do. That was how I could have teleported here. Tread the path of valor. Okay. Yep. Okay, let's get some free stuff. There's the letter. Accusant finger. You. What in heaven's name are you doing here? The I don't know. I'm just hanging out. Pit of recusants who spit at grace and hunt our own. Hunt our own kind. If you understand the weight of my words. I understand. I totally understand. Well, as long as I thought you were perhaps playing that part, but no, that the path before you consider. All right, uh, and I think I can buy a thing from him. Hey, wait, why is the guy not here? There's supposed to be a guy here. Uh, oh, I was supposed to talk to... Okay. In order to get the quest that I need to do, I need to talk to... I need to talk to the guy. D... Diosis or something. I need to talk to him here, and then he'll appear over here. I forgot Dialos. Yeah, I need to talk to him here. And he is um, just up here. Again, I've done this quest once off stream, so that's why I know exactly kind of what I'm going for here. Exactly, kind of. And he goes back to the round table. Hold? Does he? Maybe I don't remember that. All right, it's over here somewhere. There he is. What's up, bro? Oh, oh yeah. It's me, Dialos. Answer me, would you? Yeah, that blood loss is not not normal, sir. Hello, friend. Tell me if you know which the whereabouts of the hidden house of those despicable fiends. The recusants. I was just there. I could totally tell you where they are. Hands upon my servant Lanya. The tale of House Hoslo is told in blood. Tale of House Hoslo is told in blood. Dialos. Remember that, because you're gonna say it five thousand times. Okay. They laid hand a tale of I, dear. Okay. Um I thought there was a shiny over here somewhere. Maybe I already got it. Okay. Am I riding a cow? <laughs> uh it's it's like a it's like a goat horse. Yeah, it's a goat horse. That's uh what I'd call it. Alright, did he show up back here? Maybe I have to wait. I don't think he actually shows up. Ah, oh, yeah, he does. Okay, he does here. Show up here. Ah, the recusants sent. Can you believe they invited me to join them? Now, after what they did. Sure. I believe it myself. You might be surprised to learn I took them up on the offer. Then they only had to. That's what you do. You join your enemies and then you kill them from the inside. It's on Mount Gelmir. I know where it is. I know. House of whatever, Tolden, whatever, whatever. How are you doing, sir? Examination is complete. Oh, black knife print. What is that? Now I have a fairly good idea who performed the right upon the blade. The person who orchestrated Night of the Black Knives. Princess Rani. One of the children I know who she is. Radigan and his first wife, Demigod, and sister I think I know who that is. Maybe not. Hers was the name I discovered in the imprint. Truly, you have my thanks. But if I might be so bold. Yeah, totally ask me. What's your quest? If Rani truly is the one who plotted that fateful night, then she should bear the curse mark of destined death somewhere upon her flesh. I would like, like to a, procure it for me. Let's get like tattoo? All will be laid bare. I will have Okay, sure. Lately, I feel I'm on the precipice of falling into a deep, fathomless slumber. Yikes. And I have an inkling it could spell trouble for you somehow. No. So I just wanted to get the apology since you're so scary and all. Okay. Do I care about any of this stuff? I don't think so. Interesting. Well, I had not done that quest on my other character. That's actually news to me. And actually, I want to check if there is an upgrade with that glove ward I got. I think I need go ghost and I got the other kind, but I might as well check. Yeah, I need ghost and I have the other kind. Okay, so I can't do that upgrade yet. Okay, so now uh, I do have a quest to kill this guy. Uh, let's go ahead and now let's make sure we talk to what's his face first, just to make sure. Sure, it's not a hoat, a gorse or a hoat. There's <laughs> a mule and a hinny. Okay. Mama's goat, dad is horse equals hoat. Dad is goat, mama's horse. That is a gorse. All right, I'll take your, uh, 
word on that. Huh. Oh, well, nice to see you again. You too. So you've been invited as well. I, I have. Then we're comrades in arms, henceforth. Yeah, watch each other's back. Totally. Well, you see, after much internal debate, I've come to realize... You gave up on your revenge? No! I've got the stuff of champions. And champions, ironic as it is, are oft forced to walk a tainted path. It hit me like a bolt from the blue. That my former thoughts were simple naivety. Naive naivete. My heart weeps for Lanya. That unfortunate incident was a cruel twist of fate indeed. But succumbing to the pain and sadness caused won't. I wonder who actually killed his. I don't think he actually learned who exactly killed her. Fate has laid hard such At least, from what I can tell, they don't tell you exactly who kills his Lanya helper girl. I always. The pale comfort. That won't be. They'll be dark in the tale of how. Okay, alright. This guy's story is actually pretty this pretty interesting. Leads only to a pitiful Before you consider hunting. All right, so I need to kill somebody before. This guy will sell me some stuff. Uh, and there's a thing I want from him, I think. There's an NPC invader that killed? Oh, ah, okay. All right. All right, nothing in here yet. Okay. Revenge is so much fun, though. I know it, right? Okay, so let's go invade and kill some other guy, which is what we have to do over here. He's here. Yeah, he's here trying to find whoever the invader was. Volcano Manor and Mogwin Dynasty are the source of the invaders. Okay, I don't know what... I don't think I've experienced or found Mogwin Dynasty yet. Not familiar with that one yet. Alright, so we're looking for a red mark on the ground. There it is. Okay. Alright, here we go. So we are invading this guy. Old Knight Istvan. That's not what I meant to do. Great start. Ow. Okay, this is not starting well. Okay, that's better. Whew. Can I get a hit in? Okay, nice. Ow. Trading hits. Nice. Ow. Good hit. I think we got a blood proc there. Ow. Oh, I'm out of stuff there. Ow. All right, I got my last heal. This really isn't fair that I get as many heals as I do against this guy. Of course, it's still looking like I'm going to lose. Oh, God, if that hadn't blood... I think uh, we had a blood proc right there on that last hit. Woo, okay. One shot. One shot. So easy. Poor old Isfahn, minding his own business. And I'm like, um, -ha, I invade you. That's right. All right, scaled armor. Enjoy the forced PvP, bro. Sucks, doesn't it? Sucks. Competitive multiplayer. Small red effigy. So that must be how you do multiplayer or duels or whatever. Okay. 
Where's parrying in this game? Oh, you could totally parry. I just don't play that way because it's really hard to time. I think parrying in Dark Souls games is one of the hardest mechanics. Because every attack has a different timing, so it's the parry timing is different on every attack. At least that's how it feels to me. I don't know if that's actually right, but it feels that way. Did you read the letter? And if that is the task, the Volky will be compensated. If you are low, but you must leave this. This is a we have no clue. Yeah, I already did it. You've completed your task. I did. I am pleased. This is your reward. Magma shot. Okay. That the, the way is it is the truth. Um, do I care about having any other spells memorized? Let me check. So currently I have heal that I never use, poison heal that I never use, and then the dragon thing. So what is this? Burst of yellow flame of frenzy from the eyes. That's like basically the only other thing I could use besides, oh, you know, magic damage negation might be useful. Well, there's this guy. I might actually want to use this at some point. Let me actually replace the damage negation with this guy. Maybe I should start trying this thing out. Can I do that with this, I wonder? I think I can. Uh, yeah, I use that magma shot on my int character. It's like my one fire ability that I use. I just got it the other night, and yeah, I, so far I've used it a couple times. Pretty good. Any strange something be off? It just isn't off. Yes, there is something lurking. Lurking in the shadows. You can't use Blood Flame Blade on Reduvia. That's why I haven't done it. Okay, but maybe I can once I swap to whips. Then I shall introduce myself once more. Bernal. What's up, Bernal? Just recusants have particular crazy helmet you got there. Almost as crazy as mine. To our methods of slaughter. Why not add some to you? Here we go. And this is what I want. This right here. A cult. I assume this is what you were talking about when you were talking about a... Um, uh, I can't put it on whips, though. I'm still going to buy it because it's like the first occult thing I've seen. Yeah, it's only on swords and thrusting swords. I'm still going to buy it. So I need to—I still need to find something else that's going to give me a cult for whips. You've come to Unders to take power and make it his own. The recusant to raise the flag of revolt. We recuse, or you can. Yeah, that's we go. Okay. Um. Yeah, I think I think I might be able to use. Uh, the the blood flame on my whips once we swap over. So. There's only one Ash of War that gives occult affinity for whips. Okay, and you looked that up, didn't you? So, I'm I'm gonna have to. F Can you tell me what it's called? Can I could pull it up over here on the wiki. But I'm gonna need the Blackwood Blade to get it. Okay, so. So what did you say? It's in Necrond or Negrond or something is where the wet blade is that I need to get. I don't know where that is. No, no cron. Let me see where no cron is. Uh. No cron. Uh, search. No cron bridge. Okay, where is this? It looks like it's in its own separate. Oh. Seal for a river. Oh, it's the place I couldn't get to in the seal for a river. Okay. I get as part of Ronnie's quest after I beat Radon. Okay, so I need to figure out where that is. Um, Ronnie's quest, beating Radon. I'm gonna have to remember. Okay, is this the next fight? This is the next fight. I'm gonna have to figure out where that is. I don't think I know where that is. Whips and leather armor. Rand's a little kinky. <laughs> okay, sure. This guy's got a crossbow. It's got a cool crossbow, too. Look how big that thing is. Giggity, giggity, goo. 
Oh, that was a multi-attack I was not expecting. Okay. Yeah, I guess that was pain. Jesus, we are getting wrecked right now. Oh, he's applying blood rot. Okay, fire. Reload. Nice, good. Wow, he just jumped that. That's crazy. Ow. Oh, that was painful. It's two hand in his dagger, man. Watch out for a guy two hand in a dagger. That was like a backstab as I missed there. Frickin' hell, man. Okay, well, this guy does some damage. Jesus. His dagger adds Scarlet Rot. That's pretty crazy. Well, I got just jablasted there. You heard your wifey's name? Oh, uh, Ronnie. All right. Let's try that again. Where are my... Are my uh, things here? Okay, at least it's easy to get your souls back from this. That's nice. Uh, where is it? It's right here. Um, that link didn't work. But White Shadows Lure. Okay. Frickin' knocked him down. Awesome. I like his crossbow. It's literally what I like. That thing does some damage. Nice. GG, there we go. Teabag him. Teabag him like a true pvp -er, like that I am. Runark for calling for remedy. Do I got any of his weapons there? Okay, cool. Here's the link. Ash of War, White Shadows Lure. Cool. Sir Cre uh, Crepus's Vile. What is that? Is that a weapon? Or... What is that vial? Ah, eliminates all sound made by the wearer during movement. So this is like to help be sneaky sneak is what this is. Maybe I can actually backstab with this. Where are these two things and actually be able to backstab maybe. Okay, there we go. That's that guy down. We go back to here. The second part of this quest when we're in Jarberg is the one that the part that takes forever because you have to like keep waiting over and over to advance the quest line. So that I'm gonna it's gonna be kind of boring, but I need to get that done. I see you here is your usual. Serpent bone no, blade. Oh, that sounds cool. The time has come of the true ruler of Lord Rikard. Okay. 
Lord Rikard. The Erd Tree blessed the Tarnished, but it was all too meager. In the, the Tarnished were forced to scavenge. Uh huh, scavenging for crumbs. Vying for power. Shattering. Indignant. Indignant Lord. If the Erd Tree, then we are willing to raise the battle. We're going to resist the Erd Tree. The Volcano Manor. Under Lord Rikard. Okay. Follow this heroic. I get to see the Lord myself, and I probably get to kill him. All right, there we go. Uh, what did we just get? Got... Ooh, it's a katana. It causes poison buildup. Oh, that's cool. Could you do... Uh, could you put a bleed on... Ash of War on the Serpent Bone Katana and have that be bleed and poison? Because that would be badass. Uh, let's see. Ashes of War... On... Ah, looks like you can't put Ashes of War on that Serpent Bone. I guess that would be too OP if they let you do that. Sad times. No poison plus bleed. That was actually one thing I thought about. It was like, that'd be cool if I could get a weapon that I could put poison and bleed on, but nope. Okay, this should progress this guy's quest next, which is really all we want here. I'm terribly sorry, but we haven't achieved anything at all thus far. I know. Even though I've dirtied my hands time and time again, I'm still yet to achieve anything. It's okay. It's okay. You're just a slow... Uh, you're just a late bloomer, man. It's worse than that. As things stand, I've given up on the path... I know, I know. You'll, you'll make a name for yourself, I promise. How did it take me so long to realize? Honestly, there's just no end to my foolishness. Yeah, you're kind of dumb. But don't worry. Lots of people are dumb. No, it's worse than that. Okay, all right. Cool. That should... Now we should be able to go to Jarburg, I think. I knew you had it. Take this. Okay. A special invitation to hunt some of the first tarnished who sat at okay. should accept. All right, cool. Uh, poor Diallos, if only there was somewhere he could fit in. If only. And let's go... Let's see, who's this lizard person? Brave tarnished. I'm afraid this is not a guest room. What's that peculiar look upon your face? Why you look so funny? You are. How dreadful. How dreadful indeed. That girl was a serpent all yes, along. I ought to be thanking you for treating me as usual. Despite this We're all inclusive here. I mean, I'm a I'm a tarnished. lizard head, so, you know. This is my true form. My real name is Zarias. All right. Please forgive the deception. So, Do all these wrinkles mean she's like that guy outside that's like a slinky neck. Lady Tanith speaks me. All right. She's your mother. Glorious King was your dad. That's what she told you. Gotcha. Gotcha. You gotta hide yourself. Gotta hide your true self. Too bad I killed Patches. He shows up here and offers some more quests. Does he really? I didn't kill him on my other character and I didn't see him. Huh. I wonder why I haven't found him then. All right, tell her about did that. Her? I did see her. Her name's Zarias. Or, yeah, Zarias. she confided in me the name Zarias, then perhaps it is not my place, but please... Be kind. Okay, I'll be so kind. All right, now we need to go to Jarburg, which is down over here. Uh... Yes, let's do that next. Did I attack, activate patches in Murkwater Cave and then see him in Lyurnia? I might not have. I might not have done whatever the second part is. Yeah, I probably need to progress him somewhere else. That sounds right. All right, so we are headed down. It's over down over here. You can't actually get to there from. This makes it look like you can get down there from the other side. I don't think you can. I think it's. Jumping from over here, I think. You're glad I killed Patches? Thanks, Kira. <laughs> Me too. <laughs> Nobody likes that guy. He's... Oh, I have way too many of these things on my map. Uh, I need to get rid of these guys. This guy and... Where's the other one that's throwing me off?
He deserved it, I tells you. I tells you he deserved it. Patches of D-bags, right. <laughs> you love Patches. <laughs> he tricks you, man. He's such a trickster. Can't trust that Patches guy. He's a POS, so it's not like I'm missing too much. <laughs> Good, glad we're in agreement. Uh, I think I can get some stuff from inside here. So let's just run by all these guys. He pushed you off of a cliff? Wow. True D-bag move right there. True D-bag move. Not that I've, you know, never jumped off a cliff accidentally myself. Flame cleanse me. Is that a spell I can cast, I wonder? You're gonna kick him in the shin next interaction, you'll tell I'll tell you what, that's right. I'll tell you what! Kick him right in the right in the right in the jimmy! Kick him right in the jimmy. He deserves it. Is that an area I've been to down there? I'm not sure. Flame cleanse me is an incantation that cures poison and rot. Oh, that's the one that cures both poison and rot. Sweet. I'm going to swap out my poison one for that if I have the uh, faith for it. Artist Shack. I've not actually found any of the places for any of these paintings. I feel like this one's close by. Like, I thought... It's just over here. There's like some gravestones over here, but I've not figured out how those work yet. I really shouldn't have activated this guy. This guy's a fan. Yeah, you know what? I don't even want to fight you. Have fun hanging out. Oh, we got another one of the things over here. Uh, no, there's those guys who... Uh, Lives on a boat. I'm on a boat, mother. Don't you ever forget. This. This. Let's go. I see that boat guy. I see you, boat guy. I see you. Oh, he disappeared. Right as I went. Right as I did that. This guy's got disappearing skills. Out. Skull ability. God, this. That breath is so crazy strong. It's so good. When I can actually cast it, it's good anyway. Throwing water at me. tree uh he's immune to scarlet rot well is he because he's taking a dot sure looks like he's taking damage from it i mean it looks like there's a cloud following him around unless my eyes are seeing something else Nice. Actually, I have a couple of death root I need to give to the beast guy. He has no flesh, but it still works, lol. It sure looked like it was doing damage to me, anyway. Definitely looked like it to me. Right, so I don't know how to get up there, but the place we need to go... ...is down over here somewhere. my mana 
of stuff. Okay, so those jars, that's Jarberg down there, and I need to get down via some stair stepping things somewhere. It's further down over here. The all knowing wiki failed you? Well, maybe they changed it. Maybe it used to not work, or maybe there's gonna be a patch that makes it not work. I don't know. What is that? I didn't see this before. That's just a big crab dude. Big crab dude. Any shinies in here that I missed over? Oh. Oh, that crab looks different. Well, he killed something. Okay, this guy's following me around, isn't he? Okay. Alright, you asked for it. Nice. Alright, a guy who doesn't take 8,000 hits to die. Thank goodness. Alright, where is my way down here? Hmm. Maybe it wasn't, uh... That was like those gravestones I go down. Maybe it's just... Maybe it's just rock cliffs that I have to go down. No one ever fails you, not Gurner. The power of Enrique Iglesias. That's right! <laughs> Enrique Iglesias. He'll never let you down. Never gonna give you up. Never gonna let you down. Is it here? I think it might be this. God. Doing this from horseback seems like a terrible idea. But at least I got a double jump. Okay, looks good. Right here. There we go. There. Oh! Oh, double jump saved me. Jarberg, here we go. Uh, where is it? It's down. Yay for more jumping puzzles, by the way. Platforming fun. Okay. Whew! Easy! Uh, your wife objects to my mismatch of song and musician. <laughs> I'm saying never going to give you up. Uh, you know what? Enrique Iglesias singing uh, Rick Roll song sounds like an amazing combo. I don't know what you're talking about. It's a mashup. They call those mashups. Mashups are even better than the originals. Totally. Totally the, the best mashup you ever heard. Okay. All right, so let's uh, heal real quick. Although I shouldn't have done this because we're gonna have to be resting over and over anyway. There's a thing up there. Oh, there's where I was trying to jump. See, I knew there were. That's how you get there. There are gravestones going down, and that's how you get that. All right. Now I'm gonna hope it's nothing good because I'm not gonna worry about that right now. Let's talk to. Um, What's your f name? Jar Baron or something? Hello, Cos. What are you I like this. The, the voice actor for this character is really good. About this place. Except us jars. Ah. Are you going to be the new potentate? Potentate? That sounds like a job for me. I'll be your potentate. Gosh. Truly. That's wonderful news. Thanks. It's not easy being potentate, though. I know. Show me your hands. Just a little test. Enrique Iglesias singing the Chug Jug song. You have mixed feelings about this. <laughs> Enrique Iglesias mixed with Rick Astley is enough to destroy the world. Your skin isn't so smooth. What are you saying? Is it? You need slick, slidey hands to be potent. Oh man. I'm sorry, cuz. Too much weightlifting. Got all these calluses. Or maybe it's my guitar playing. One of those two. Don't look so glum. We can still chat. All right. All right. So we have to. This is where we have to wait a bunch to progress the quest. What I'm going to do is they have a lot of good rare flowers here. So let me grab a couple shinies, grab some flowers, and then we're going to be we're going to be be. Uh, actually, probably I should save. Not save. Um, take my final break before we do this next part of the quest. Cause it's going to be just a lot of waiting around. 
picking up all these. There's a thing over here. Very nice. Lots of good flowers. It's going to be flower picking and... Oh God, there's another shiny up there. Oh God, I, I need it. Okay, that one I think I can get. That one I think I can get by going up over here. Breaking all the stuff. You know, jars are used to it. You played you played Zelda games. It's basically what their life is. Breaking the jars. Breaking the jars. Breaking the jars. This is the one happy place in the lands between. This place is pretty nice. All right, so what I'm going to do, we're going to take our final break of the day. GG cookie time. We've made it to Jarberg. Uh, I'm going to pass time tonight, fall. Quick stand stretch break. When we come back, we are going to do a bunch of passing time to do this next quest to get the whip. So y'all rock. Be back in just a bit, my friends.